Hey good people, welcome back to BKC Cooks. I'm Brandon Carpenter and today I'm up early. I'm up with the birds. It's the ugly side of barbecue, at least for me. I'm not a morning person, not even a little bit. But uh, I got up at uh, six this morning uh, to get this pork butt on the uh, Char Griller Gravity 980. This is gonna be my first uh, really long cook. I've done beef ribs before. And that was about six or seven hours. I can't remember exactly, but this should go uh, a lot longer. Um, but I'm doing it early so I can have it ready for dinner. Uh, this should be a short video, not a whole lot to it. Um, you saw me season it up. Um, turn the smoker on, set the temperature. Put the pork on there. And um, it's going to rock out at 275 quite a long time uh, <laughs> I got a meat probe in there once it gets to 160 um, I'll wrap it up until I get a internal temp of about 203 to 205 and we'll let it rest and we'll have pulled pork I've done pulled pork video before but never on this char griller gravity 980 and this is gonna make my life a whole lot easier uh, I won't be tending fires I loaded my hopper all the way up, and at 275, I'm guessing um, it should last me most of the cook, if not the whole way through. And if it gets low, I just add a little more charcoal and wood instead of uh, throwing a log on there every 45 minutes. Um, so, yeah, it's going to make my life a lot easier. I can go get some other things done. Uh, I'm going to be brining a turkey that I'll be doing a video for. Um, so that you guys can see what I'm doing for Thanksgiving. Um, but again, this should be pretty short. It's pretty simple. Not a lot to pull pork. It's just uh, time and fire. That's it. So um, it's around 7:30, I think, in the morning. Maybe not quite that late. It's somewhere between 7:15 and 7:30. And uh, again, I got a meat probe in there, and the. Uh, the 980 will alert me when it reaches 160 and once it does that I'll wrap it put it back on there until it gets uh, again about 203 205 depending on how it's feeling and uh, that's pretty much it so I'll see y'all at 160 all right just got the alert um, this pork butt is up to 165 so I'm gonna wrap it um, but let's take a look at it I think it's uh, gonna be Quite nice, quite nice indeed. Let's take a look. Yep, as I suspected, beautiful bark. This is a smaller, uh, much smaller pork butt than I usually make, but um, I don't have as many people to feed today. So a uh, small one is the way I'm going. So I'm gonna wrap this in foil. I'm gonna leave that probe in because uh, I'm gonna wanna know when it gets to uh, about 203, 205. And at that point, I'll pull it and let it rest. So I'm just gonna wrap this up in foil, stick it back on the smoker. I'm gonna keep it at the same temp. All right, it's wrapped up. Got our lid back down. Let it cook. So again, it's at 165 right now. And um, I won't bother it again until it gets to 203, 205. I'm gonna go run some errands and finish my day. All right, so I'm making some salsa to go on these uh, pulled pork sandwiches that I'm making today. And I figured since I got my smoker going, I'll throw my uh, tomatillos and onions and peppers on there. I'm not going to use all these jalapenos. Uh, probably only going to use one, one and a half. But uh, this is the last batch of uh, jalapenos I just pulled out of, uh, out of my garden uh, about five minutes ago. Rinsed them off. And uh, I'll reserve those for later use. But we'll see how this salsa turns out. I'm hoping it will be good. All right, so my pork butt is up to 205. I'm going to pull it. And uh, I'm gonna rest it in the oven at 170 until I'm ready to shred this up for sandwiches. So in the meantime, 
uh, I'm gonna make some coleslaw from scratch. I'm not a big fan of coleslaw. Really, the only way I do like it is on a pulled pork sandwich. So uh, I got some cabbage in there. I'm gonna make a homemade dressing and it won't take long to put it together. So let's go get that done. All right, so it's time to get this slaw done. I've got a half head of cabbage, just regular old green cabbage, and I have one carrot, and I grated these just on a box grater. I've got uh, three quarters of a cup of mayo. Uh, I use a good mayonnaise. I use Duke's, but best mayonnaise you can get, or you know, you can always make it yourself. Got that in there. Do a nice pinch of salt, a little bit of black pepper. Again, this is to taste. It's gonna give me just a little bit of color too. Don't want it too hot. Gonna do two tablespoons of sugar. bit of onion powder. This is going to be about a quarter of a teaspoon. And a couple tablespoons of vinegar. One, two. And I'm going to just give this a good mix. All right, we're in business. That's perfect. I don't want this to be super wet because I am putting it on top of sandwiches. I just don't want it to be super messy, but it's just wet enough. There's a little bit of liquid collecting, not a ton. I can deal with that. So we got this done. Our pork is resting and uh, we'll get ready to pull it soon and make our sandwiches. All right, so my pork has been resting in the oven at uh, 170 degrees uh, for about three hours. And I uh, took the top of the foil off to let it cool off enough just so I can handle it and shred it. But you can see that meat is pulled all the way away from the bone. And I got a nice good bit of juice. Of course, all that will get mixed in. I'm just going to let this cool off just a little bit so I can handle it. And then we'll shred it and make some sandwiches. All right, so we got this uh, pork butt all shredded up. The juice that it let off. I'm gonna mix all this in. And I'm letting that go to waste. I'm gonna add a little more of the rub that we seasoned it with. This is Big Mo Quezon's pork rub. Not adding a ton, just a touch. And I'm gonna work all this in there. Big little piece of gristle. So if you find something, this is a good time. Take a second look. All right. We're about 
done, I'll give it a taste for seasoning. That's great. All right. This beautiful pork is together. Let's make some sandwiches. Okay, so show me your sandwich. It's basic. It's got pickles, sauce. Okay. And beautiful pulled pork, yes. Of course. All right, I'm ready for you to taste it. Honest review, no cap, as you young people say. <laughs> is it? Tell me, son, is it? Don't say the word. I must. I must. Is it? Bussin? Yes, it is. Bussin, y'all. Bussin, bussin. <laughs> I used it correctly, yes? Technically. Okay, well, I'll take what I can get. When you get done, make sure you take out that garbage over there. Okay. Thank you, son, for putting up with me. It's an everyday struggle. I understand. <laughs> So uh, give me the give me the report here. How many thumbs up out of five? Out of five, uh, four point seven. Four point seven. Point three deducted for Sam Buster. You know what? <laughs> You'll get yours. Yeah, I know. All right, let's build this sandwich. I got a beautiful soft potato bun. I'll lay down a little bit of barbecue sauce on the bottom. A couple of pickles. One more. I say one more. Now. Nice portion of this beautiful pulled pork. A little more sauce. Top it with that coleslaw that we made. That's a sandwich. Let's put it together and give it a taste. All right, so the sandwich is put together. Of course, it's time for the taste test. That there is a sandwich. Let's see what it does. Yeah, man. <laughs> Son, you were right. That is indeed bussin'. My son is cringing over there. No huffing. No huffing. I will uh, huff all you want to. And we'll stop that sandwich from being bussin'. <laughs> Young kids hate when. We use their words, but tough stuff. Now, this is a really good sandwich, y'all. Um, everything just works. Again, I am not a fan of coleslaw by itself, but on that sandwich, it really works. And with the sauce and the pickles. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna give me another bite of this joker. Yeah. Look at that pork is Man, super tender, super juicy, smoky, that good bark, that good rub, that Gravity 980 does a great job. It has not let me down. 
That's definitely my favorite thing to cook on. And I got a good brother-in-law. He says I'm cheating. He gonna be cheating too from what I can tell. But I'll cheat all day if these are the results I get. So, y'all, that's about it for me. I do appreciate y'all watching. Please leave your comments, ask your questions. I like to answer all of those as much as I can. And I do read the comments. So, do appreciate all the love and all the feedback. And if you can, smash that bell, smash that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, that way you can be notified when there's more. So, um, that's it. And uh, I wish good eating to y'all. Take care.